a new battle for Basra. Just a few months ago, British forces controlled these streets. Today, the Iraqi army had to mount a major operation to try and take back the city from militias and criminal gangs. In the city center, there was heavy fighting. Basra, occupied by the British for nearly five years, has become lawless and dangerous. Today's battles were a critical test of the British strategy of training Iraqi forces to handle security. The operation was so important that the Iraqi Prime Minister personally came to the city to oversee it. The main target were fighters from the powerful Shia militia, the Mahdi Army, and they were defiant. We call upon all Iraqis to stage sit-ins, said this cleric on behalf of their leader. If the people's demands are not respected by the Iraqi government, the second step will be to declare civil revolt in Baghdad and all other provinces. Swiftly, the Mahdi army brought protesters onto the streets. By the end of the day, many towns and cities across southern Iraq were under curfew. The leader of the Mahdi army is the elusive cleric Muqtada al-Sada. He hasn't been seen for months. Since August, he's declared a ceasefire, which has been a vital element in reducing violence. No one knows how far he'll go now in resisting the Iraqi government. But on the streets of Basra today, at least 30 people were killed and scores wounded in street fighting. Today's operation was concentrated on the center of Basra and some districts to the north. Just 15 miles from the fighting at the Basra Air Base are 4,100 British troops. They haven't been on the streets of the city since September. Their role is now called Overwatch. If there was a breakdown in order, they could be called on to intervene. But British commanders say that's very unlikely. It is a key battle. Uh, Iraqi. Um, commanders have said that uh, they do not wish British forces to enter the, the city, uh, ground forces that is, uh, they are content that our air support is...